Hello, YouTubes. Okay, it is time to talk about yet another gacha game. Uh, and it looks interesting. Almost like a GTA anime uh, gacha game, if you will. So, I think we'll start with looking at the direct trailer, which, if I can find, is right here. And then from here, we'll go through and judge the gameplay, all right? I'll try and not pause the trailer and kind of go through it minimally, because the gameplay is going to show all the stuff that we need to really know, right? The stuff that really, really matters. But the graphic design is really cool. The 4K trailer also adds a little bit of the hype, makes it that much more crisp. YouTube, there was a bomb that Max has planted to get back to the company. Bad gotcha rates. No, there was a bomb planted that if uh, you do not subscribe and like the video and comments, if you're going to try this game or, you know, completely skip it and call it mid, um, it will detonate. So make sure you do that because I don't make the rules. I merely abide by them. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, without further ado, watch some evidence to evidence. It does have smooth kind of like camera work. You guys remember that like one scene from like Invincible? Just just out of pure curiosity. Everyone's know what I'm talking about. But bro, it is colorful. It's like all in like midnight lo-fi beast study slash relax dude. I'm, look, I'm, I hate to be the one to say it, but off rip, it, it is giving crazy Mugen vibes with the way it feels, just with the color scheme and all that kind of stuff. Serval. <laughs> wait, 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 Serval? Eh? Serval and something else going on. Jade Val? Okay, dude. Okay. It's all yours. Got it. Turn up a little bit more. Uh, like Sunday. Wait, what the fuck? Hold on, wait, boys, 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 wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Honkai verse, Honkai verse, hold on, hold on. We've got mad scientists, uh, Morbius, and now uh, Sunday. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> we found Sunday, dude. And this is that girl from uh, I forget her name. That this is that girl from Wuthering Ways. You know the one that uh, has like the the sword up against that shit. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, music's also a bop. <laughs> what the fuck in two D? Capasa. Sunday! We found his fucking hidden Lone Monk's brother Monday, dude. Okay. Okay, dude. Off rip. It's looking really fucking smooth. Like, very much so. Definitely promise at the very least in terms of the art style. You can go now. Okay, Pasa? All right, here's the GDA side of things, okay? Okay, 
Okay, music, music bopping hard, dude. Wait a minute, you tell me I can get cats? I can get a pet cat? Wait, everyone shut the fuck up. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. You tell me I can get a cat in my apartment? Hold on, there's even a scratcher tree. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, you see that? What the fuck? We're so back. Nevinus to Evanus. Now, that is not all that we have, okay? That is merely just the trailer, okay? Merely just the trailer. Look, off rip. Character designs, they're very Hoyo esque. You know, they're not like Wuwa, how like it has its own discerning difference. But that being said, it is very early. Like, if you guys do know Wuwa back in pre alpha, back in base alpha, it was. It looked fucked up. I'll be the one to say it. It looked really fucked up, alright? But. That is, uh, there's, there's nothing more there. We, we, we're trying to get the concept of the game and see if it's kind of good. Now, we're going to go into the gameplay, because that's really what makes it a breakthrough, right? The trailer's cool and all, but the gameplay fucking matters, so. Without further ado, lock in, boys. GTA anime. GTA gotcha before GTA 6. Could not believe it, man. It is crazy smooth, by the way. Fucking Christ. Am I allowed to talk about that for a second? Uh you know what? I'll be the um I'll be respectful. I will not. <laughs> Designs they're they're decent, right? They're, there's no real Alternate Universe Clarence Varum. What do you think of the designs? I think the designs low-key kind of cook a little bit. Is that is that insane? Like, I, take the face out of it, right? Take the uh, the face, the hair, the basic facial features out of it. The actual design, clothes-wise, kind of goes hard a little bit. Like, I think I think there's a lot of uh potential to this actually be really really good. So I'm not I'm not a hater yet. I I think it looks uh decent. Wait, you tell me. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Did she dash by doing a? What the hell is going on? Okay. Um, also the... <laughs> the run's slow as fuck. Holy shit. Holy shit. Wait, you see the tower of this man? What? Holy... Wait. Why is he huge? Slow run, no job, our game. It's been 1 minute 27 seconds. It does look fucking huge though. I will say that. Um It looks massive. Why does she run like that? <laughs> what the fuck? All right, food, nice. Understandable. Ramen. All right, very basic. We're not surprised. No surprised at all. No animation. True, but listen. It's early. It's the early build. We give it the benefit of the doubt, and if not, then we just go fuck ourselves. You know what I mean? Um, also, actually, before I continue watching this, I want to let you guys know, this is made by the developer of Tower of Fantasy. So keep that in mind, because Tower of Fantasy kind of crashed and burned like you would not fucking believe, right? Maybe they will fix their issues with this game, but... Well, Project Mugen, and as a familiar on the horizon, I don't know how true that is. And we don't mention, right? We don't mention Arknight Sandfield. That that game fucking died, bro. Where where is that shit? <laughs> what the fuck? <coughs> eh? Um, Persona? Yeah, dude, we're going back to Persona route. If ZZZ Persona had a baby and just took all the good bits and kept it bland, this is that.
All right. Look. Not to be a hater. Very early days in the gameplay, I understand that. It's probably going to look a lot better in the future. But off rip, I, I don't know. That look kind of shit. That look a little bit, uh, a little bit shocked. Yikers. Yikers, man. I play Wuwa, doesn't that sound? Yeah, but like, guys, guys, we can't keep comparing everything to Wuwa, okay? Wuwa is a very rare exception of Gacha Game having fucking gameplay, okay? And before anyone says PGR, I know that game exists, but the fan base makes me want to actually, like, headbutt a chopstick, you know what I mean? Yeah, four, four characters in Yeah, true, actually, very good point. We've kind of seen since the WooWa release and ZZZ release, three three-team characters. And we're going back to four, which is interesting, because I'm so used to three. Four in open world just feels cluttered, you know what I mean? Like, if I ever was to go back and play Genshin, it would just feel, I don't know, it, it would just feel, like, needless. You could probably clear it three characters anyway. But dude, the design of this kind of shit, real wait. Okay. Conceptually, this is fucking really cool, dude. This is actually sick. The fuck you just stabbed the desk dog? Eh? Alright, gameplay, gameplay, gameplay. Here we go, here we go. Wait, hold on, hold on. Did they I wanna watch this for a second. Did they even swap into those characters or did they automatically drill in just then? Hold on a minute. Are they auto? Or, like, do we seriously just fall like I wonder how the gameplay is gonna work here? Because if this is the same, if this is the same situation as Enfield, where you barely even control 80% of the team, you might be cooked. Keep an eye here. Okay, does swap into Cat Girl. Does swap. Okay, but they have they have outro skills as well, kind of like Wuthering Waves. Hmm. Interesting. Very very interesting. Holy fucking... Jesus. Did she just do the fucking cat emote for her ultimate? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a fucking second. She faces the camera, busts out the fucking... Did it. And everything explodes. <laughs> what the fuck am I watching, dude? Floating cat? Question mark? Also, there's an R option here, as you see at the bottom of the screen. I, I'm assuming that would be for buffs, right? That would have to be for buffs. But other than that, there's like a triple dash. So you have three dashes for regents, I believe. Wise poke. We can get in cars. Boys, boys, hold on a minute. Hold on. It, it, G GTA Gotcha actually coming back. You also have radio upstairs? Up there as well? Wait, music? My fuck. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Potentially cooked. Potentially cooking. Wait, hold on. Run someone over, get five stars. Get five stars, right now. Call Lester. Dude. What the fuck am I watching? Can I rob a bank with Trevor? What the fuck? Dude, learn to drive. What the fuck, man? This is a gameplay demo and you absolutely eat shit. What the fuck? I love how during all that, this guy here is just so unfazed. 
His whole life just flashed for his eyes and he was ready to... Do you have to crash the fucking car into the dealer? Wait a minute. Wait, can I buy the wagon? Wait, can we buy G-Wagons? Wait. Wait! Wait, wait, wait. Moving camera, camera alert. You can buy different cars. You got the Porsche, you got the G-Wagon, you've got the Shipbox 8000 Drift Car. Um, uh, boys, maybe cooking? Maybe actually cooking here. How's the customizability though? Okay, so you can adjust pretty much every main feature of the car. And there's also a stats diagram. Wait, so you can actually make your car like crazy drift, crazy speed, crazy fuel efficiency. I don't want to say it, but Roblox jailbreak is that you. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Am I the only person? Hold on. Am I the only person that play fucking Roblox here? Like, am I, am I just actually onk status right now? I might be cooked or an order. Dude, you can level up so much of the car. Holy, it's actually got some pretty good customizability. I thought she was T-posing. What the fuck? If this is a co-op, you want to race with friends? I think that's a good thing to bring up, right? This feels like it's built with co-op and multiplayer being a very heavy component, right? It kind of has to, because if it doesn't, what's the marketability here? Because keep in mind, coming from Tower of Fantasy devs, they're probably thinking, they've, they've done multiplayer before, this isn't foreign to them. They're probably just going to do it right this time around, okay? They, they probably are, who knows? Maybe they are, maybe they're not. But this is like a do-over with all the money they made from the fucking Evangelion collab and that kind of stuff to really make a good multiplayer intended gacha game, which we don't have yet. There is no argument to be had. The Genshin co-op co fucking sucks. We don't really have co-op in many others either. So yeah, this moment in, the, in time, like gacha focused multiplayer is an untapped market and it's going to be interesting to see how they tackle that. Because I think that's the main focus of this game, right? It have to be. All right, back to the boots. Back to the beats, boys. Wubble Cop's the best gacha cop so far. Hard to disagree. I mean, you're right, but like, it's still dog shit. You gotta, like, it's, oof. You know, it, it, you put two coughing babies in a cage together, all because one wins doesn't make it good. You know what I mean? They're both dead regardless, like. Wait, realtor? Holding! Holding! Apartment, apartment, apartment. Apartment. Wait, boys, 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 hold on, hold on. Also, I want to note this as well. I want to note this because it's kind of funny to think about. The... Where is it? This HUD with, like, the website and shit is literally fresh out of G GTA, so... They, 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 they know what they're targeting, you know what I mean? Alright, well, uh, Hologram Butler, show us the house. Okay, dude, it's, it's, it's pretty, okay? I'm going to five can run an entire planet size with moving grass and win speeds without dropping FPS and mobile. All right, well, uh, I guess the future is here. Unreal Engine 5 is going to actually change the fucking game forever, man. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. More accessible ability in games, net positive. Because I'm coming from the background of... Genshin's release? <laughs> On mobile was diabolical, dude. And now we're at this where you can run this and we're fine. Actually, it might be cooking. Pool, nice. Uh, okay, time transition. I see, I see, I see. Living mini open world? Yeah. Dude, the fact that you can own your own apartments seems hype as fuck. Like, that, that sounds so fun.
If you get customized ability inside your own apartment too. You have a bathtub outside? Dog. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, this is dude, this is end game meta. End game meta is owning the penthouse. I'll be I'll be the first one to fucking say it. Holy shit, dude, it's massive. Ow. Respectfully, did we fucking ask for that? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh I think I said stroke. Wait. Wait, okay, so her skill is to run on walls. As you can see, the skill's been popped, so it has a uptime, obviously. Okay, glider, of course. Yep, no surprise. Glider will never gotcha. It is fine. Running on walls? What the fuck? Hmm. Back in the car, nice. Jesus. Okay, they are dog shit at driving. Worryingly so. Drift? Wait, drifting? Don't hit her. It was a joke. Don't actually run her over. Whoa. I hope the stigma from the other games doesn't affect them here. Uh, it will. I think it will. But people flip-flop really easily. It's gacha game fans are the most volatile uh, white knight warriors for their gacha games. So it probably will affect them to a degree with how Tower Fantasy ended up. But it can still be successful, right? If it's good, people will eventually just forget about that. Remember, Genshin got dunked on for being a fucking Zelda clone. By every other gutship game player, like Arknaz players, Azalean players, fucking Summon as well players, and then it's like the most successful game ever to come out, so. It has a chance to be successful, it's just they gotta beat the allegations of this will not be a Tower Fantasy 2. Hold on, who the- what the fuck was he doing? Why are you just sitting there? He, okay, okay, he has a death wish. What the fuck is going on? Average driver. Nice. Wait, this first person driving. Holy fuck, we're back. Wait, we're Down so fucking back. Invincible. And if it is, why can I see it? Damn, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> Wait, wait, this first person driving? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I've said it a thousand times. I know everyone's going to make the comparison. This is GDA gotcha. And you know what? I'm on board. I am entirely on board. Cop racing could be a thing. I, I believe so, man. I really do. Ooh. Wait, actually hype? Hold? Everyone hold. I'll wait for this. Actually, it's a good place to end it. I am... I am skeptical that this is just an open world occurrence, right? I am very skeptical. This is probably within a mission. Because if I'm just driving and I have goddamn Ghost Rider just fly in, fucking destroy a bus and 26 cars, and then just leave, and that's just a world occurrence, that's optimistic, okay? I don't, I don't know how much I actually buy that.
Okay. Yeah, it's definitely yeah, it's definitely a mission. Hundred percent a mission. And it's over. Right. But is there anything else? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, there's actually there's actually a fucking update date. Wait, 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 wait. We might see an alpha potentially in two months. Wait, in 2024 September. That's in a month and a half. Are there any events in September? When's Tokyo Game Show? Wait, wait, wait. When the fuck is Tokyo Game Show? Because that's probably where it will be. Tokyo's Game Show 2024. Okay, well, I've called it. I think I've called it, guys. Tokyo, yeah, I think this is exactly where we'll see it. Uh, that's kind of hype. So towards the end of the month, I could see that. I kind of like that that is so close to when they release this gameplay trailer um, and as well, like, PV trailer. So that's kind of sick. We have give or take, like, a bit over two months. Like a month, two months and a week. You'll be surprised at how quick uh, they can turn these fucking games around. Maybe, maybe end of, tw ne end of next year, maybe? I wouldn't be entirely surprised. I could see 2025. That wouldn't be that outlandish. Should improve their characters by then? Yeah, exactly. Like, let me bring up, like, um, Wuthering Waves. Gian is probably a good, good one original design he looked really fucking weird did he not oh no gian was yeah like dude what 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 the fuck was going on here man we, th like taking designs from their release i don't think is fair right because this is this is a weird one man and this was a thing for a lot of characters um really scared to keep scrolling in case some crazy shit pops up i know another one was verena verena looked really really weird yeah like, look how bland they look and look how refined they become you know what i mean so I'm not, I'm not terribly stressed about designs. I think they're okay at the moment. And like, look at the upgrade they gave to Yinlin for fuck's sake. So that, this could probably turn out to be all right. Initial Lingog, Nasi. Yeah, dude, uh, Ferris would have had a field day with it, but uh, I guess Weather and Wear's gonna swing that way. That is the end of the YouTube video, okay? For those who don't know, we were recording YouTube videos on. Anyway, uh, yes, thank you for your time. If you did enjoy the video and you were interested in what you saw, like and comment, tell me what you saw and what you liked and what you didn't like, or maybe just subscribe as well so you see the future updates, uploads of what we do. So it is a bye YouTube moment. I um I hope you enjoyed your time and I'm going to head out. Uh, goodbye.